All right, let's talk politics. I don't give a damn if those of you that tuned in say, I don't care about your politics, Dan. It's only because you don't agree with it. We talk common sense here. We're a political party. We don't care. We want to talk. So let's get right into it. National media has already, in my opinion, made the Ukraine the scapegoat for Biden's failed policies. Agree, disagree, and if you agree, walk me through what you think. 100% agree, and we've already seen it. I'm honestly surprised that it was this quick. And maybe that's something that, you know, is a problem with me. I knew this was coming, but I didn't think it would be this quick. So already, if you go onto the CBS News Twitter account, go back about a day, you're going to find the headline. And I swear to God, I'm not even making this up. The United States preparing for gas increases, supply shortages because of the Ukraine invasion. Now, Coach, I'm old enough to remember all of this hell breaking loose long before we started talking about Russia and the Ukraine. So this is already going to be the playbook, right? That's from CBS. These are the same people that trotted Nora O'Donnell out there and with that stupid blank eating grin on her face told us that the summer of love of 2020, the protests were mostly peaceful, but caused two billion dollars worth of damage. So. It's already working for CBS, and I promise you, CNN, MSNBC, they're all lock and step here. This is going to be the thing that the Brandon administration uses to say, well, we had everything rolling, but that damn Russia-Ukraine invasion, that's what that's the problem here. No, do not be fooled by this. This is smoke, this is mirrors, and it's bull crap. We all know. We saw it at Christmas. We saw it in the grocery stores. We've seen it ever since Pete Buttigieg somehow became the transportation secretary, even though he couldn't run South Bend. There have been issues in this administration. It's not the Ukraine. It's the administration. Let me let me walk. Walk me through this real quick, Um, because I do not understand this. Why do Why does CBS News, like I understand you're trying to make your way in the news industry and you got to pick a side and you're on cable. I get that. But why do our major mainstream, ABC, CBS uh, and NBC, why, when did they start 100% picking a side here? Is this a Donald Trump thing? What did it happen before? When did this happen? Educate. This has been happening for a long time. Now, Trump, exacerbated the thing because they hated him so much because Donald Trump did not need them. That's the thing that drove the national media crazy, the left-leaning national media. Donald Trump did not need them. That's why they were in such a rush to take away his Twitter account, to take away his social media, because that took away his power to communicate to the public. Nobody turned on NBC or CNN or even ABC to find out what Donald Trump thought. You went to his Twitter account. So Donald Trump highlighted this, but do not get it twisted. This has been going on for a long time. And social media has a lot of problems, right? I swear to God, if I won the Powerball and I had billions of dollars, first thing I would do is try to buy Twitter and unplug and delete the damn thing. But the one good thing that's come out of the rise of social media is that shows like yours, shows like mine, uh, we can highlight just how dishonest a lot of the national media is, how much of the bull crap we get fed is. I mean, anybody that lives in a major city in America, pick a city. In 2020, you probably had a window broken. You probably had something looted. Somebody may have been beaten. In my city of Indianapolis, there were two nights of riots. There were two people that were murdered. And CBS is going to roll out there and say, Everything was mostly peaceful other than that, you know, two billion dollars worth of damage. These are the things that have been happening for a long time. But there hasn't been this level of media. There has been blogs. There haven't been, you know, video shows. There hasn't been social media to counteract it and call out all the BS. 